I'm gonna be Playboy Cardi for Halloween. <laughs> hey, that's gonna be my Halloween fit. I'm gonna be Playboy Cardi for Halloween. That yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna dress up like Playboy Cardi for Halloween. Minus the thongs, because I don't that's not cool. Yo, psh, man, listen, y'all wildin'. Hey, comic book folks, y'all wildin'. Uh oh. Dalton Village Hall is a mess tonight. It's blocked off for protest. Oh no. Oh word. They trying to get up. They're trying to get up out of here. Yo. Comic book. Comic book. I don't know. Indie industry. Well, y'all wild. Y'all know better. Th- oh my God. Y'all wildin'. This and this is. And this is the, the arena that Eric July wants to play in. Interesting. 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 Hey, got to point some fingers at some people tonight because a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all, a lot of you comic book guys have blood on your hands. Now, I'm going to take a different approach. I'm going to give you my approach is the outside I'm not in the inner, anybody's inner circles. I'm just going to give it to y'all how it looks to me on the outside looking in. But Ed Piscor, not a saint. Now, I, as a father with daughters, I really don't give a damn what happens to people like him when they make certain attempts. But it's a whole lot to walk down. I'll try and be as respectful and, and as objective as possible, but you comic book, y'all, y'all comic book folks, y'all wildin. Cause I didn't even know who Ed Piscor was until two weeks ago because everybody kept making videos about him and the text messages. Everybody dumped on this dude as you should. Everybody dog piled on this man as they should. I'm, and I don't even want to go down to red pill dating, but the majority of, of men, I don't care what your nationality is. The majority of men do not have access to women. This is the underlying problem. A majority of men do not have intimacy, sexual access, whatever to women. Okay. I listen, I don't give a damn about no goddamn GMT. What he need to be focused on is trying to get the, his vehicle to pass smog so he can actually register his car. I don't give a damn about the nigga. He ain't about nothing to me. Life. Karma, whatever you want to call it. All right. So he'll be aight. He'll be aight. Let me, let me see. Um, oh, my stream labs ain't stream labbing. The chat box ain't chat box. No, I need a chat box. Hold up. We're going to take our time with this. It's a lot of, a lot of layers to this. Now I personally don't feel bad for this dude. And I'm not, and, and, and y'all know my, my views on, um, self deletion. I think it takes a very bold, strong willed individual to do that. I ain't never talked bad on anybody that said I'm out. I've never talked bad or ill on anybody that said, you know what? I don't want to be here. Let me go ahead and make my, my grand exit. I don't think it's selfish. I, I, I none of that. I, the, the typical Christian based thinking it is that's a selfish act you're going to hell how could you you only think about yourself i don't see things that way i look at self-deletion from a different lens it's called the apoptosis gene and for you that gene is put in your body and and just to prevent yourself from hurting yourself do you know do you know how hard it is to actually try to hurt yourself do you do y'all really understand how hard it is to try to hurt yourself right that gene is in place to prevent that and for one to overcome 
the natural hardwiring of the body to protect itself from self harm. That's some, that's some tough shit. If you don't want to be here, I understand. I wish you well on your, on your next, on your next travels. I ain't never talked about nobody that ever took themselves out. I would never do that. Never. That ain't no punk shit. That ain't no punk shit. Okay. Now, where do we go? I mean, a lot, and all y'all take blame for this dude. Y'all should all take blame. Now, and when I say take blame, all y'all push that man over the edge. Now, this is where I become objective. All of y'all push that man over the edge. Right, wrong, or indifferent. Okay. If you made a video about that dude because of those text messages, we're going to go over all this shit tonight. Right. You all are in some shape, form, or fashion complicit to a certain extent. Okay. This is, this should be a black eye on y'all's industry. This should be a huge black eye on y'all's industry. And what I would tell all the black comic creators they play a different ball game over there i hope y'all know what the hell y'all getting yourselves into because the moment they find a chink in y'all's armor the moment you slip up like this dude slip up they're gonna be on you they're gonna be relentless and they're not going to let up okay so all the brothers and the occasional sisters steal yourselves when you go over there on, on, that, on that side of the fence you know what y'all getting yourselves into it's all great when the arms are open and they welcome you in hey brother you know we got one we got another one yeah brother come on it's all include y'all be mindful because the moment you slip up they're gonna be on you they're gonna be on you and don't come to us looking for help hey man i'm getting jumped over here no 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 that's not how that shit works Y'all be mindful now. <laughs> Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Boy, this is bad. Hey, man, that's the best way to be. That is the best way to be. Okay, so let's just get right into it. I'm not going to hold y'all up. Let's get right into it. Now, this man had a slow death spiral like all everything he worked hard for basically was taken from him right and i heard somebody say well as a man you should you shouldn't put your all into one project or one thing or one passion you should have several passions you should have many hobbies uh you should have many business uh endeavors many business pursuits i agree i agree you know I'll take, you know, us, for example, everybody that, that, that was in the music business that got into it at one point, we were all trying to be artists. And then after a while, some of us said, you know what? We're not going to be great artists. Let's let me find a pivot and still be in the business. Right. So it seems that Ed's one passion, which is comics, and he was pretty good at it. Right. You take away that from that man, from that person. What does he have left? That's the only thing that bothers me. It's like, yo, you don't have a backup plan just in case shit goes left or, but once again, I don't think he saw this coming, but once the text messages came out, he should have, I don't know. It's dicey. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Ed Pisker's father is adamantly defending his son. Now Pisker is from Munhall, but he is nationally known for his work as a cartoonist on Marvel comics. He was scheduled for a show right here downtown until the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust postponed that show after accusations of sexual misconduct. All I'm going to tell you is a bunch of Ed Pisker's father was emotional when I spoke to him at his Munhall home defending his son after accusations that the famous cartoonist seen here previously at his Munhall studio sent inappropriate messages to a girl in 2020 when she was 17. The messages she recently shared and claims are from Pisker wow. show him commenting on images of her work, calling her a naughty girl and writing, quote, I feel like you'd be a good partner in crime. You're not a snitch, are you? The woman claimed online she was being groomed. Ed Pisker Sr. says no way. He has never, ever been in trouble, 
ever in his 40 years of living. And attorney Phil DeLicente says the messages aren't criminal. The age of consent in Pennsylvania, notwithstanding uh, corruption of a minor, is 16 years old. But those messages triggered others to come forward and his show downtown to be postponed. A statement from the Cultural Trust reads, the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust learned on Sunday of allegations of misconduct made by an individual against artist Ed Pisker, who's once again, yeah, I'll say it, Ed Piscor was an incel. I'm sorry. If you're 40, trying to, and you're in communicate with a 17 year old, that's incel behavior, sir. There's you get there's 25 year olds, there's 30 year olds, hell, there's 21, 22 year olds. Hell, I'll give you 19, 18. But that that should be the limit. I'm sorry. The, all of this, the basis of all of this comes down to the lack of sexual access or intimacy with a woman. This man had no wife, no girlfriend, no, no, ain't no side chick come out and say, oh, well, you know, I was with him. No woman in his life except his father and his sister. This man was an incel. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm going to get to it. I got the letter, bro. I, I'm going to get to it. We're going to go over the letter. It's sad. It's sad, but I, I, I'll be trying to explain to people that's how important a woman is to a man. You know, especially those that, that have a longing to be with somebody, that generally want to be with somebody. A woman, it could be the end-all, be-all for a lot of these dudes. But come on, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Uh, You know what? I'm going to, okay, he could be both. A FIBA file is those that attracted to older teens. People confuse the terms or just use the, the pedal as a blanket term. When they have, no, a FIBA file is older teens under the, under the age of 18, right? And the pedals is those under the age of 12, whatever. Um, and, and incel, yo, if you don't have access to women, yes, you're an incel. If you had to go through crazy alternative means to get access to a woman, you're an incel. Okay. If you can't call a chick up right now and be like, look, I need, I need you right now. I'm going through some things. <laughs> if you can't call a text woman right now to come satiate you in some, and, and give you some type of sexual pleasure, you're an incel. Yeah. Come on, let's continue, let's continue, let's continue, let's continue. Work was scheduled to be on exhibition at 707 Penn Gallery starting April 8th, 2024. The trust takes the allegations very seriously and decided yesterday to postpone the exhibition indefinitely. This is really one of those situations that in this cancel culture, what happens is you're canceled before the insinuations are determined as fact or fiction. We attempted to talk to the woman who posted the messages, but she was not interested. We tried to talk to Pisker too, but we couldn't reach him. His father, however, spoke out. I'll tell you this, he's totally innocent. It's unclear at this point whether Pisker's show, scheduled here at the 707 Gallery, will be rescheduled. Downtown Pittsburgh, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Definitely ain't going down. Now, now let me just say this. I have a, I have a 15 year old in my room, right? So when she turns 17, you think I'm going to be okay with a 40 year old man? I don't give a what is it? I don't care what the law says. You're guilty in my eyes. Okay. Now there's the father in me comes out. Okay. So in two more years, you mean to tell me I got to worry about 30, 40, 50 year old men trying to DM my daughter and y'all going to sit here and tell me, well, Sly wasn't, he didn't break any laws or there was no criminal intent, no coercion. Nigga, you guilty. And if I catch you, it's lights out. So that, now the daddy in me comes out. Okay. So, and I get y'all want to defend this dude and say, well, you know, by the letter of the law, this dude guilty. Fuck this dude. Fuck this dude. I'm not going to lose any sleep over Ed Pisker. Now let's get over, let's go over the text messages. Okay. Once again, I'm trying to be as objective as possible. <laughs> as possible. Okay. So this is what she said. She said, oh, okay. Ed Pisker is an effing creep. He likes little high school girls and slid in my DMs when I was 17 years old. I didn't know of him and he found me simply by me liking one of his pictures, sending me a post of myself in my school girl uniform, uniform 
calling me a cute nerdy girl and saying to come out to Pittsburgh and stay with him. He'd take me out to lunch to meet other PG cartoonists. Now you skirting the man, you skirting the laws of the man act. You skirting them issues, bro. You skirting the line, but come on, let's continue. Let's continue. <sighs> Overall effing weird with no gray area for what he was trying to do over the course of a year. Obvious to anyone on this planet, calling me a good girl and a naughty girl all the time, sending me unfinished pages of his as a secret and gassing me up constantly, basically trying to groom me into whatever the fuck saying my art was so good and saying he'd promote my work eventually as COVID phased out. And I think he saw I was not just somebody or just some nobody high school girl drawing gore art. I started ghosting him eventually understanding this was weird as fuck. Okay. Now I'm sure there's more communicated than this, but this is the pretty much the one that got them all that, that got everybody to, to dog pile on him and rightfully so. Once again, if everybody made a video about this dude, dragging Ed Piscor over this, I understand it rightfully. So as y'all should, as y'all should, as y'all should. Listen, I hear y'all were the parents. Listen, you, we can't watch our kids 24 seven. All we can do is hope and wish our kids, um, when they get faced with situations, they remember what we told them. That's the best you can do. That's all you can hope for as a parent. Say, I hope my child remembers what I told her when these certain situations occur. That's all you can do. That is the stressors of being a parent. It's just hoping and wishing and praying they do the right thing when they get jammed up. That's all you can do. Okay. So, so this part of the text, naughty girl, that's my favorite. I feel like, I, like we went over this already. If you if Rob Banks, you wouldn't rat me out or uh, would you? She says, I wouldn't dream of it. I prefer to Raul Dyke or uh, Raul Duke and drive uh, DR Gonzo if that's an option. Okay, good girl. You give the correct answers. That is a beautiful sight. That's not even all of it. The last ones, the back bedroom has a drawing table in there too. Oh, he's, so he's showing her his crib. You can crash there if you ever wander into my side of the state for a few days and old video games. Yeah, get you the fuck up out of here, bro. <laughs> yeah, let's get you the fuck up out of here. Don't play these games with me, man. Don't play these games with me. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Now, now let me go back to trying to be objective and get out of daddy mode. All right. Now I'm sure some of y'all disagree with what I'm saying. That, that's fine. Disagreements are welcome. That's how, you know, disagreements are welcome. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, damn, this is incredible work. Are you 17 or 18? I'm gonna be so mad if you say 17 because this crushes me at that age. Now she says, she goes on a rant. I don't like, I don't like effing sex pests. I don't like creepy old men who think they have the ability to play around with malleable young girls with no real grasp on the situation because their predator have a successful career in comics. If anyone would like to see further evidence of this, just DM me. I don't have a problem posting the rest of the screenshots, but I don't feel the need to share it in extensive detail for hours and hours. Ed could argue and say that was not his intention or that he was just being friendly. I find nothing normal or friendly about a 40 year old man asking a high school girl about her classes. I agree. I agree. Doesn't matter. Don't fall for the trap. I, I, I hear what y'all saying. Don't be st this stupid. Listen, if you getting pussy on a regular, you're not worried about no 17, 18 year old girls. If you're getting regular access intimacy from a woman, you're not worried about 18, 19, 20 year olds. You, you're not saying the term, well, every day somebody turns 18. Who says that? Who says that? Who talks like that? 
well, you know, every day some young girl turns 18. Like who thinks like that? Right? All you, all those dudes that waited for bad baby to turn 18 to join her only fans. Remember how many guys waited until bad baby turned 18 to join her only fans. Yeah. Let's continue. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. 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 Calling her a good naughty girl, et cetera, et cetera. Asking her to come visit him saying we'll be partners in crime and asking if I snitch or not. Like what the fuck? This is not a cancellation of Ed Pisker. I'm just telling you the truth about this person. The truth that a lot of other cartoonists are aware of who I know for a fact are aware of that Ed Piscor likes young girls and he will try to use his fame to get them to FaceTime him, give him attention or make them come and stay with him. I don't know if this has worked for him, but it doesn't matter. This behavior is disgusting. This is me saying what happened in 2020, 2021. And if this happened to you, you're not alone. Unfortunately, I need a t-shirt that says Ed Pisker tried to groom me and I didn't even get a free copy of X-Men Grand Design. To this day, Ed Pisker slides into my DMs calling me kiddo, further confirming our inappropriate age gap. Seeing that I am not just some random girl he, who can draw that he can groom enough to come to Pittsburgh to watch him do his stupid strip he do, he's doing now about Little girls from broken homes, switchblade shorties is disturbing coming from an effing creep who likes little girls. What the F? Yeah, let's get him up out of here, y'all. <laughs> let's get Ed Pisker up out of here, y'all. I'm sorry. Let's get Ed Pisker up out of here. Now. 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 Let me go back to trying to be an objective. The, the longer this drags out, the, the harder I'm trying to, um, it's harder for me to be like, uh, uh, well, uh, no, hell no, hell no. Wait, it's 113. No, 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 no. We're not going to do this. It's 113 lurkers up in here. 52 likes. Get my ratios up, please. Before I play this, this defective boy on my, on my channel, please get my, my ratios up. I need 75 likes. Or I'm going to play this defective ass child on my screen. Don't make me let this man perform his greatest hits. Okay. I need 75 likes. Please don't make me hit this button to get this man up on the stage. He's been dying to perform. Okay. He's been dying to perform. He says, Sly, come on. You always cutting my set short, bro. You're a hater. He calls me a hater because I won't let him rock. I need 75 like likes so I can keep this man off y'all screen. If I don't get 75 likes, this man's going to make a special guest appearance. I'm going to bring out the James Brown cape. I'm going to put it on him and shit. Like he's going to walk off the stage and he's going, ha! okay, please don't make me play. <laughs> Give this young man. Anything. Oh, okay. 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 Where were we at? 76. Okay. Cool. 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 Back to it. Let's get back to it. Now, where's the, where's the letter? Where's the letter? Let's go over the letter. This was, this was a, this was a tough read, man. Even, even for me, I'm like, whew, this was, this was sad. All right, here we go. Ed Pisker's final statement to the world. Let's go. Let's go. I'll take my time with it. All right, you ready? Let's go. And his last note to the world. I'm so sorry for being stupid. I definitely should never have talked with Molly D. The language and optics look real dumb at best. I, I think that's being a little bit disingenuous, but okay. Uh, but I promise my innocence, especially out of context. It looks terrible. It was the height of COVID with no end in sight. And I was alone through most of it. Now, once again, if you ask me what an incel is, an incel is a man that cannot call a woman up for sexual gratification. Okay. To me, that is an incel. I don't care how, how listen, she could be the, she could be Vespucia. If you can't, you, if you ain't got a Vespucia on, on, in the rotation, just if you ain't got one of those break glass in case of emergency type of women, 
You know what I'm saying? Like you should be able to call somebody. Somebody. Okay? When you need to get your rocks off, standards do not apply. But let's continue. I was just happy to have the internet to talk to people with common interests. The way that I noticed her was she uh, was when she would like a bunch of my pictures at once. I wasn't trolling Instagram randomly, but I definitely shouldn't have chatted with her when I found out how young she was. No shit, Sherlock. Seeing someone younger representing our crumb and GG Allen gave me hope for the next generations and made me curious. Curiosity killed the cartoonist. There was no way I'd have a 17 year old stay at my place. Maybe not 18 even. I was forward projecting to some unknown future where COVID lockdowns were finished and we could see people again. And it wasn't even with sex in mind, but simply saying that there's a bed here to crash like the kindness that was given to me a bunch of times when I was starting out. Zen fair in town, come crash. Ask Leanna Fink or anyone else who's come to visit. It doesn't mean sex. When I asked if she could keep a secret, it was because I was sharing some red room pages before announcing the book and was, it, and was just trying to sound cool. Tone is missing. When I said naughty girl, it was sarcastic after she told me some simple crime of, or infraction she committed. The whole pile of my DM she collected to show is just awful to look at. I'm sorry. This ain't gonna cut it with me. If I'm this girl's father, this does not cut it. Now I will deal with my, my daughter later behind this, but if this is my daughter, nah, this, your sorry ain't gonna cut it. I, I need, I, I, I don't know, I need a pound of flesh about you. I don't know. I need a ball peen hammer and like two swings at you and then we'll call it even, right? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Um. I'm sorry I wasn't trying to offer professional favors to anybody or use my position. What a joke to get into anyone's pants. We're all in the art game, so why not introduce new friends to old friends? When I was bringing up any professional stuff to anybody, it was just common ground conversation. Then seeing these DMs even further out of context on other news outlets and media sites, Matt P at the P, uh, the Pew City paper, or Pittsburgh City paper, you know what you did to skew your narrative, F you. But they surely gave themselves their own plausible deniability by asking me for comments right as I'm trying not to jump off a bridge or something. But sir, we're not having this conversation if you didn't have this conversation with the young lady at the time. Doesn't matter who takes what out of context to skew whatever narrative they're trying to frame about you. Sir, we're here because of you. We're here because of you. We're here because of you and your inappropriate conversations with a 17 year old. Come on, let's continue. Let's continue. Molly Wright is a conundrum to me and her actions border criminal. Wow. Wow, we're so we're, we're victim blaming. So now it's really F this dude. You know what? I, I take my stance back, y'all. Comic book people, y'all good. Y'all ain't do nothing wrong. Y'all dra y'all rightfully dragged this dude. I, I take back my original statement. Nobody has blood on their hands. Comic book people, y'all good in my book with this one. I still don't trust y'all. I still tell brothers to be leery of y'all. But in, in regards to Ed, Ed Pisker, Nah, y'all ain't do nothing wrong. Let's get this motherfucker the fuck up out of here. Everybody dragged him rightfully so. Nobody should feel bad. Okay? Nobody feel bad for making videos about this dude. Piece of shit. Not sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Nope, 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 nope. nope. nope there's no blame here. I, so I, I, I take back my original statement. Let's continue. He said, she said, never looks good, but none of what she said happened. And I can't believe she'd be so malicious and pile on like this. Now that I'm officially checked out, I think my family has a civil lawsuit and she could be held accountable. Held accountable for what? Defamation and slander? Wow. She pushed this over the edge into multiple women territory. It's so corny. I absolutely never asked for a blowjob in trade for anything ever. 
She successfully made me look stupid and everybody accepted her word as fact. Citizens of the internet are playing such dangerous games with people's lives. I never had anyone lined up for an open relationship with her. I never was interested in a relationship with her. We had sex twice and she initiated both. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Who are we, who are we talking about? Wait, I'm lost. So who is he referring to y'all? Uh-uh, wait, 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 I got questions. I got questions. So Molly Wright is not Molly D? Now that I'm officially checked out, civil law, sweet hell, okay, 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 okay. So let's, get, let's run that back again. We had sex twice and she initiated both times. The first time was a surprise. When we were done watching a movie or just hanging out, I don't exactly remember the circumstances four years ago, she jumped on me and started kissing me, telling me how comfy I made her feel. We quit hanging out during COVID lockdown, but kept in touch here and there. And I thought things ended naturally. Thankfully, her post, including the piece about me dissing Jim Rugg. Now, now, I, I, you know what? What do y'all expect Jim Rugg to do? Okay. A lot of people are, are dragging Jim Rugg. This is his, it's supposed to be his homie, his ace, his his man is his, his creative partner, right? And then Jim Rugg had released a statement saying, hey, I gotta, I gotta step away. What did you expect him to do? You're talking about inappropriate messages to an underage girl. What is he supposed to do? All right, so my guy, I'm gonna ride with him, even though it, these text messages look sketchy. But okay, come on, come on. Um, super emotional, fuck Ed Pisker type language and the Red Room sales stuff portray She's a pretty, uh, she's a petty woman scorned, punitive and false. My house was burning and she threw gasoline on it. There needs to be recourse for my loved ones. I'm dead. I don't have a reason to lie. Hold Molly Wright accountable. Okay. So Holly, so Molly Wright is, is Molly D. And they did have a, a sex relationship at one point, right? Oh, this is, come on y'all. Somebody make sense of this. Somebody help me out. Y'all help me out. I'm lost. Fatal J help. I don't understand, bro. What, what, the, what am I reading? So is Molly D and, and Molly Wright the same person. I, I need help. Okay. There are multiple women as well. As, okay. 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 Okay, Molly D, Molly Wright, two different women. Cool, cool. Okay, so Ed is not a complete total incel. He had, at one point, had sex with a woman. Okay, okay, let's continue. Cheesy Pete. <sighs> okay, reputation destruction is her form of aggression and there were very real consequences. My lawyer is Harris Miller. Is it possible to subpoena all texts and DMs I had with her? Big titty taff. Yeah, I, oh, these are different. Okay, okay, I, I'm slow, y'all, forgive me, I'm sorry. Okay, Molly D was the underage girl. Molly Wright is somebody he had, he had dealings with because apparently these women got dragged into it as well. Okay, now, big titty taff is somebody, oh God. All right, shout out to big titty taff. Let's continue. I would draw you naked all day and never apologize for wanting to. I like drawing tits and tattoos when I'm not drawing comics. I'm a solitary guy and I've put every ounce of my time and life into my work for around the past 20 years. Now, I understand everybody has their passion, has, you know, had their, their thing they want to do in life, but at some point, either you need to take a break or find something else to do and not put all your eggs in one basket because we now live in a day and age, fellas. That, you know, one, a woman can say, hey, this man did this to me 20 years ago and ruined everything that you've built. Just like that. Let's continue. I never felt satisfied with my skills, so I constantly worked really hard and tied it all to my identity and self-worth. Ooh, that's not good. So all this man, this outside of his work, this is all he had. The work was his identity and self-worth. Wow, that's pretty deep. Let's continue. Every waking moment was spent working and ideally I thought it would be best to have all friends who share the same passion. 
It's why I offered to introduce them to my friends. It's like my cherished Japan trips and uh, introducing Kenji, Sean to Brian Moss and Moss to Scheme and Scheme to Danica. I was the only person who knew everybody on the trip. And by the end of it, we were all friends. Social media was how I met people. My greatest relationship began at the end of COVID thanks to meeting on Instagram, a rocky but amazing three-year relationship with someone who taught me true love. That said, I'm so glad we never broke things off when we did so, so that she doesn't get any slack. She's way better off. Hope you're well. Clam, I never stopped loving you. This all happened before I knew you. All right, here's, here's the spiral. Now it's all gone. Art show evaporated was about to sign a $75,000 deal for switchblade shorties with Abrams. Cartoonist kayfabe ends with Jimmy's shocking revelation statement. Those words hurt. I have no friends in this life any longer. I'm a disappointment to everybody who liked me. I'm, I'm a pariah. News organizations at my door and hassling my elderly parents. It's too much. Putting our addresses on TV and the internet how could I ever go back to my small town wherever, where everyone knows me? Now, I'm just going to say this for the brothers. For the brothers, y'all learn from Ed's mistakes. Now, I'm not here to judge anybody. Whatever y'all vices are, make sure y'all keep y'all vices either to y'all selves or under control. Because the moment your vices get a, get a hold of you and become bigger than you and the industry that you're in finds out. And then uses it uses your vice to to, to to basically tear you down. Y'all be careful. Brothers, be careful. Let's continue. Some good people reached out and tried to help me through this whole thing, but I'm not just strong enough. The instinctual part of my brain knows that I'm no longer part of the tribe. I'm exiled and banished. I'm giving in to my instincts and fighting them at the same time. Self-preservation has lost out. Interesting. From the sound in everybody's voice, I think we all knew this was the conclusion. Jim Rugg, this was his ace boon coom, his partner in crime. Well, you know, in, in creative crime, right? Jim Rugg came to my house unsolicited and gave me a hug and told me he loves me. If you know Jimmy, you know how huge that is. I'm sorry to my family for making such a mess, no pun intended, and for creating this hassle. I wasn't trying to be a creep, but that's how you look and sounded sir that's how you looked and sounded sorry she's 17 you're not gonna get a pass from most people about this okay let's continue let's continue mm. i'm also sorry to everyone who got this note and the baggage that may or may not come with it depending on how well we knew each other. I knew I wasn't going to be able to survive this. Comics is beyond a profession to me. It's everything. Fellas, don't put your all into one thing. Put your all into many things. Now that might uh, sound sad and pathetic to some, but this culture and medium gave me the greatest joy in, my li in life. No public statements would do. Nobody against me would be convinced. Maybe this drastic move will convince a few. Maybe it will get a couple more people to consider not joining online lynch mobs over gossip. You're not going to win this bot. Even if he didn't do it to himself, you weren't going to win the optics battle. Doubt it will have much of a blip. I'm not doing this out of guilt though. Once again, it was super dumb chatting with Molly D. My intentions were never nefarious with her or anybody. I'm doing it out of intense shame. We're not built to have hundreds, maybe a few thousand people judging and or harassing us at once. A private and solitary mind can't take it. There were so many out there waiting in the wings for something like this to emerge. Daryl Ayo Braitwood called it a kill shot. God damn. You all got your wish. You were waiting for something to blow out of proportion. And it got served to you on a silver platter. Ramon Villa, uh, Villa Lobos, Cam Del Rosario, JB Rowe, Molly Wright, congratulations. You got your pound of flesh. Evan Dorkin, I hope skeletons from your closet get revealed someday. Alex DeCampi, 
May you continue to have zero success no matter how hard you continuously leverage other people's businesses from your bully pulpit. Oh, shots from the grave. Wow. Shots from the grave. Shots from the grave. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. The very next morning after Molly D posted the screen caps, I put my last will and testament together. Freewill.com. Great service in a pinch. These are the papers I was trying to hide from you. Jimmy, when you came by with soup, I actually found a nice lady and witnesses who notarized it and made it official on a Sunday morning. How's that for efficient uh, <laughs> efficiency? It's sitting on my brown desk in the corner. Mom, dad, Bob, JP and Bree. I'm sorry. Mom, dad, get this will of mine straight and move into a nice home that doesn't have many stairs. Leave whatever you don't use the rest of your lives to my uh, lives to my siblings. Daddy hit me up this morning and wanted me to come home, but it's just too far gone. It was great hearing your voice today. Also, mama. The shame will never go away. Please make good use of what I've built up and take comfort for the rest of your years. This will give my life and this tragedy of events some positive meaning. Oh, you know what? I'm starting to feel sad for this dude. Wait a minute. Hey, what? All he had to do was turn off Twitter and live his life. <laughs> hey, y'all brutal as hell. <laughs> All you had to do was turn it off. Hey, hey, that's what I do. That's what I do. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. <sighs> These are the files for Switchblade Shorties. Please download it and maybe a book deal can be made for my heirs. Bob McCoy was my agent and we were supposed to sign a $75,000 contract with Abrams. Maybe in death after I explain myself, it will be something they won't balk at. Then again, the culture is sick enough that maybe a bidding war among publishers will push the price up even higher. Bob, can you try to get my folks a sweet deal? My family can use the money. Please download these files ASAP while my Google Drive exists, but they are also on the portable hard drive in my backpack that I had with me during my final act. Don't let the cops keep it forever. I brought my data with me so that it would be easy to find. Oh, this is intense. Holy cow, let's continue. There's a black hardcover sketchbook full of autobiographical comics on my brown desk standing up in the hutch next to drawing tablets that I intended to see print when I passed away. I didn't put anything in my will where that's concerned, but hopefully I it can find a publisher and get released. It was what we were going to do with Fanta, uh, Fanta graphics under the title Mudfish. I didn't sign any paperwork on that with Fanta, so Bob, maybe you can help my parents there too. I realized that I didn't make any notes in the will about my authored books and intellectual properties. Jim Rugg, can you maybe help make sure my people don't get jacked by the publishers? I haven't gotten my H HHFT omnibus royalties, so my family should be getting a good check soon. Can someone make sure to hold Fanta Graphics accountable with my royalties and perhaps an audit of their accounting books is in order also to see if I got all that was coming to me? Eric Reynolds gave me no benefits of doubt, and I don't know if Fanta be tricky about my stuff in death. His suspicions of me make me suspicious of them. That's the thing that sucks about going through this. You don't know who your friends are. Wow, this is deep. Does he, is anybody starting to feel sorry for this guy? No, yes? Anybody feel sorry for, for Ed Pisker? Yes, no? Let's continue. Jimmy. Let me see. Can you also post our unlisted videos and make our private streams to Patreon live to the public? That's the perception I want to leave. A dude having fun talking comics with his brother. Please keep cartoonist kayfabe up and monetized and share half the loot with my family each year. Maybe schedule the vids each day as we did for years until our roster is complete. Don't dissolve the LLC, but split the take with my heirs. 
Oh yeah, and I was avoiding the internet as much as possible. Okay, mostly relying on some friends who relayed me info here and there. I was not making using burner sock puppet accounts to try to defend our or, or attack. Hopefully those accounts will still tweet a bit so that you guys believe that at least maybe someone can dig up IP addresses to confirm. Mm, mm, mm. What a week. I wish I wouldn't wish this shit on my worst enemy. Leave it to me to get into trouble without ever leaving the house. I don't have email addresses for any of my family. Please get this message to, to them. My phone is fully charged and it's on. So I'm sure it can be pinged and tracked by first responders. I have a battery pack case, so the phone should be on for a few hours at the very least. My phone number is blah, blah, blah. License plate is blah, blah, blah. I'm wearing a black hoodie, maybe a black pea coat, black dickies, Terex Continental boots. Oh, yeah, 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 baby. He, 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 he gone. He took, him, he took himself out. Okay, let's continue. Hey, mom and dad. Liz's rent is $675, and she just paid up through April. Let her move her man in with her if they take that step keep the house it's not too shabby and will bring in a trickle of income each month Anastasia James please hook my parents up with that artwork from the show I didn't watch the news reports but I guess you can get their address right off the video these represent some of my best pieces for a hip-hop family tree and if I salvage my name at all they will be a g worth good loot on the market don't sell the cover to volume one for anything less than $25,000. Once again, I'm guilty of being stupid, no doubt, but that's all. I never thought in a million years that I'd take this step, but I also never in a million years thought that something so, something so Orwellian would ever happen to me. You never know in this life. Whee! I was murdered by internet bullies, massive amounts of them. Some of you out there absolutely contributed to my death as you were entertaining yourself with gossip. I wasn't AI. I was a real human being. You chip little bits of my self-esteem away all week until I was vaporized. Maybe I'll be able to haunt you dorks as a ghost. I'll come from gypsy heritage and I'm definitely cursing a lot of you. Oh, oh, he cursing y'all from the grave. <laughs> wow. Ed Pisker cursing y'all from the grave. Let's run that back. He said, I come from gypsy heritage and I'm definitely cursing a lot of you. Woo. Let's continue. This is the calmest I've, I've felt all week. It's over for me. I'm sorry for the hurt. It'll cause my family and closest buds. I hope it makes uh, people think twice when joining an internet feeding frenzy. There you have it. Control freak to the last Peace out. P.S. There's $852 in my wallet cash in case Jake's <laughs> uh, Jake's get uh, get sticky fingers and steal my shit Eddie P wow 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 does this change anything for y'all matter of fact let's go take a look, look at the news let's go take a look at the news it confirmed it, I know uh, Ethan Van Skyver confirmed it like hours ago hours ago uh, this is wild. Now, yeah, he did it. He did it. Um, okay, best known for hip hop family tree and X Men Grand Design, co host of uh, cartoonist Kayfabe, died Monday. His family announced he was 41 years old. It is with the most broken heart that I share, my big brother Ed has passed away today. Please just keep our family in your prayers as this is the hardest thing we've ever had to go through. Pisker's cause of death has not been made public, but prior to his death, he posted what appeared to be uh, a, last, a final note in which he addressed and denied accusations of inappropriate sexual behavior that became public just a week earlier. Uh, the weekend of March 24th, uh, artist Molly Dwyer. Okay, that's her. Uh, accused Pisker of attempting to groom her when she was 17 years old and called him a creep as evidence she released screenshots of texts between her and Pisker from 2020 including one that read are you 17 or 18 I'd be so mad if you say 17 because this crushes me at that age soon after another woman Molly Wright accused Pisker of asking her for oral sex in exchange for giving her his agent's phone number yeah you can't do that bro 
that. You can't you can't do that. Okay, let's look her up. Let's look up Molly. Wait. Did I just miss it? Wait, 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 wait. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, Molly Dwyer. All right, let's go look her up. She's 21 now. All right, let's see what she looked like. Oh, she's 23. She's 23. Artist, 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 god damn it, artist, uh, okay, let's do this, let's do, let's do it this way, let's dumb it down a bit, oh, that's her, so this is her, okay, that's her, Okay. That's her. Did it have like eczema or, or like, what was it? Eczema or uh, rose, ro rosacea on his skin? Looks like he had rosacea. Okay, okay. Let me pull it back. All right. Okay, wow, that was a. Uh, Hey man, come on man, you can't do that. You can't be you can't be doing these weird texts with these kids, man. Yeah, you can't be you can't you can't this day this social media thing will will literally take people out. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. How do y'all feel? I'm no fan of Ed, but bitches always be lying. Hey. I, hey, I ain't I'm with you. I don't, I'm not with that hashtag believe all women. I ain't with that. Hell no. When I, when I see things, first thing I ask is what she do. Um, let me see real quick. Bonita, Bonita. I'm not gonna say it like that. I'm not gonna do you like that. Bonita, thank you for the 10 on the cash app. I, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you, hon. Okay. How do y'all, is it, did, did it change anybody's position? Now, once again, I don't feel bad. I don't hold comics, you comic guys. I don't think y'all responsible for this guy. Listen, anybody was going to get that work. Anybody's going to get that work. I, I just think um, some people just ain't built to go through the rigmarole. And um, I don't know, man. I mean, still fuck the dude, but. Not, and that's a soft, like, the hell with the guy. Like, it's a soft, not a hard, but it's just soft, like, get your ass up out of here type of shit, you know? <sighs> has, has this changed anybody's opinion on, on Ed Pisker? Now, once again, comic guys, y'all, y'all were right for dragging the dude. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. <laughs> Hey, hey, you know what? We got another, we got another crazy story, right? Um, this is non-comic related, but um, he put himself in this position. Once again, fellas, please be mindful. It, it's too late to, to change the past. But moving forward, make sure she's well into her older age. What I mean, like mid twenties, like don't go no, no, no younger than 21. I'm just saying, man, you know? Yeah, I, I get it, man. They, they took, they took what he, that's all he knew and was, was that was, that was him. Like, and I hate, I just think he should have wrote it out. He would have survived it. You know what I'm saying? Like at some point, if you are somebody, you can expect to be, um, a target to some, de to some degree, you know, if you are uh, worth something and you have a face and a presence, uh, in, in social media, expect people to say things about you that may or may not be true. And, um, I, it's almost to the point where it's almost just like, it's part of the job. You know, I, I think he should have just hung tough. I know it hurt losing the deal with uh, uh, the Switchblade store shorties and, and the art museum, but he'd have, he'd have bounced back from that shit. Like it would have, 
It would have came back, you know, six months, a year later when everyone, all the hoopla dies down and we find something else to, to move on about. You know, I think he, he, he should have just held firm. But, you know, if you take away somebody's identity and that was his identity, it has nothing left, nothing, nothing worth living for. I, I get that part, too. Yeah, 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 man. Just go ghost. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. I, I'm not going to judge him for his decision. Do I think it was rash, maybe a bit hasty? Yeah, I think it was a bit hasty, but I'm not going to say he was weak or a punk for doing it. I'm not in that man's position. Not, I wasn't in his shoes, so I'm not going to judge him for the, the actions he took. I judge him for the actions that led up to this, but I think he should have just held firm and be like, you know what? I'm going to ride this shit out. I'm going to go ghost and be quiet for a year and then come back on some bigger, better type of stuff. So, um, it's just, oof. Anywho, let's continue. Men behaving badly. Now, I, I'm dying to hear y'all's take on this story and I'm going to get up out of here because I really don't have much of anything else besides this Ed Pisker thing. Um, okay. Here we go. Ready? Does anybody know who, what's her name? Molly Mocha Puff. Before I, I get to it, does anybody know who Mocha Puff is? All my urban folk. This is now, now this is an urban story. Does anybody, is anybody, anybody aware of Mocha Puff? Do you know who Mocha Puff is? Right? Uh, was it pride that he wouldn't want to be considered comics gate? I, you're asking the wrong person, bro. I'm just giving y'all my take as a casual observer from the outside. I remember, but I'm just saying for the last week, I just saw everybody giving this guy to work. Um, what do you think the mind frame of the, you know what? I don't know, bro. Maybe she had a vendetta. Maybe she did have a vendetta. That's very possible. And a lot of times the, the only way women can really get at you is with some type of sex crime accusation. Like we're still, we're still to the point with sex, like anything with sexual allegations that that's a no, no, like they, you know, off the rip, you're going to be like, Oh, you know, she could have had a vendetta against him. I will, I will never know. I think he was more afraid uh, women would com come out after her. I mean, you know, all it takes is one. Y'all think about it. Hey, fellas, go back 10, 15 years. How many women have you pissed off? How many women have you pissed off in the last decade? And think about the possibilities of these women having grudges, especially if you, if you become super successful, uber successful. Think about all the women you pissed off, even by accident, right? Not intentional, but there's a lot of women you that are upset with you in the last decade from dealing with you. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I made it at cons. He wasn't the most likable person in my experience, and I'm not surprised if he was creepy with women. Okay. So you see, over out here pissing off women, right? Talking about get out of here, get out of here. So you'll be running around with the sound bite. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So we all got some women in our past that'd be like, fuck Sly. Did I miss any other serial names? No, 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 no. We're going to get it to Mocha Puff. All right. Um, <laughs> Blueberry. I, I, I think this was the last straw for him. I just, I, if I were his associate or friend, I'd be like, hey, just lay low, man. This will, this too will pass. You know what I'm saying? You know, with social media, this shit's hot for two, three months, then it dies off and it goes on to the next person. Then it's somebody else's turn, you know? See, I hear talking about get, get out of here, get out of here. All right, so let's get to Mocha Puff. And yeah, this is a, this is a somber, somber stream. So we'll get to Mocha Puff. Mocha Puff, Mocha Puff. Now this for this for the all the believe all women type guys. This is Mocha Puff. Okay. Mocha Puff. She says on March 4th, I was the victim of a brutal domestic violence attack by my ex-boyfriend. I was hospitalized and I'm struggling daily. 
I am not working right now, nor do I have any set in stone plans on returning once I do heal. This has been a very, very traumatic for me. And I ask that you give me grace and patience as I heal physically, mentally, and emotionally. If you want to assist in easing the financial burden, I will provide my payment methods below. If you want to know more about what happened, I have added a section with further details. I thank you all for the love and support you have given me so far. Without you, I don't know how I could have made it through this. Healing is not linear. Every day feels like new struggles are emerging that I now have to conquer and I don't feel like it's fair. As much love and effort I put into that relationship to be met with this level of violence has completely altered my ability to trust and my ability to feel safe around men. So let's continue. I won't say much more and I'm really struggling each day and I just hope that those with a pinch of empathy will be able to hear me and understand that I am trying my very best, but this is very, very difficult and I wouldn't wish this on anybody. Now, what is, this is her story. These, 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 these PS five, what did Tommy Sotomayor call them? These Madden Kings. She was dating a Madden King. She was messing around with the, with the Madden King. Okay. Molly was clout chasing. I, I can believe it. I could believe it. I could believe it. Let's continue. She was dating a Madden King y'all. Now I'm not saying she deserve it, but dealing with a Madden King comes with, you gotta be careful in certain, certain things come with Madden Kings. Come on. My legal name won't be included in this as I need to protect my privacy, but most online know me by my alias Mocha Puff. On March 4th, I was brutally assaulted by my ex-boyfriend. The night started out as a typical get together. Things started out great. We were hanging out at my apartment. Notice her apartment, not our apartment, not his apartment, her apartment. Ladies, stop taking in these fixer uppers. But come on, uh, hang on, relaxing with a bottle of wine, talking, laughing, and playing video games. The energy took a turn when my ex's game accidentally got unplugged from the electrical cord, causing his game to shut off abruptly, which made him very upset. He got agitated and began unplugging everything from the electrical cord and angrily telling me that this cannot happen anymore. I started to get uncomfortable with the hostile tone and started packing some of my personal belongings into a purse. I started walking toward the door because I wanted to get some air and take a walk, hoping that I could return once he had calmed down. My ex proceeded to block the door and prevented me from leaving my apartment. Once again, her apartment, not ours, not his. This pattern continued each time I stepped uh, each time I stepped forward toward the door, he blocked my way and told me to get back and not to leave. I went into the bathroom and to try and collect myself as my anxiety was quickly increasing from the hostility. When I went back out to try to leave again, he stopped me and only became more aggressive. Now, and now once again, I'm, I'm Monday night quarterback in this situation. When she got to the bathroom, she should have called them people. Okay. First thing she should have done is when she went, when she got to the bathroom, called them people. And stay in the bathroom until they show up. I know it sucks to be a prisoner in your own home, but that's what she should have done. I'm Monday night quarterback and it's not fair, but I'm just saying, okay, come on, let's continue. Whew. Oh, hey, okay. I returned to the bathroom and instinctively decided to call 911, leaving my phone in my purse so that the operator could hear what was going on and send help immediately. Due to the nature of the assault, I cannot remember the entirety of the physical attack from start to finish. God damn. I do recall him forcing me to the ground and putting his hand over my mouth to prevent me from screaming. And through flashbacks that I experienced while in the hospital, I vaguely remember the first punch. From the assault, I incurred a number of very serious injuries, two black eyes, my right eye socket was fractured, a high level of swelling and bruising over my entire face and significant blood loss. I am prescribed blood thinning medication, which I take daily because I received heart surgery in 2023. God damn, you beating up a chick with a bad ticker. Come on. Come on, man. Can't do this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, 
This medication causes me to be at a higher risk for overbleeding. Had police not broken down my door, it is safe to it is safe to assume that I would have died from the blood loss alone. I received surgery for my broken eye socket during my hospitalization. I have flashes in my left eye and am still managing much facial pain that will take several months to fully heal. Additionally, the mental and emotional distress has taken a huge toll on me. I have frequent nightmares, flashbacks, anxiety, and depression. I find it very difficult to trust others because this attack happened at the hands of someone who, with whom I placed a lot of trust in. It is difficult for me to feel comfortable in public settings because I have, I have anxiety around people staring at my face and its injuries, as well as uh, conversations that may come up around the assault. And even though I have relocated, I check my doors often to make sure they are locked because I fear retaliation. I am currently seeing a therapist to aid in my processing and healing. My family has also suffered a great deal of mental and emotional distress in having to witness their loved one hurt so badly by someone that I loved and trusted. Someone that I introduced to my family as being someone who I could possibly spend the rest of my life with. Okay, let's continue. Both me and my family's finances have taken a hit as I had to relocate for my own safety and sanity, which has been costly and time consuming. A professional biohazard cleanup company was hired to clean up the blood at my old apartment and several items had to be thrown away. I have incurred medical bill bills from the surgery and time spent in the hospital. Um, one in four women have experienced some sort of domestic abuse in their lifetime. And this is a very, very, very serious uh, issue. Uh, da, 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 da. I would not wish this on anybody, not even the very man who assaulted me. I'm in a great deal of physical, emotional, and mental pain. I have nightmares nearly every single time I try to sleep. And the entire process of moving and seeking justice through the court system is very, very difficult. Once again, Madden King did this. A Madden King did this. These men are ruined, y'all. These men are just, I, I don't know. But I don't know what to tell y'all. Start being with women. I don't know. Women are violent too. I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't know what to tell y'all at this point. I don't have the answers for y'all. Don't. So shout out to Mocha Puff. Hope, you know, wish her love and light and, and, and speedy recovery. But that woman ain't, and will never be the same. She will never be the same. And she, I don't think she'll never deal with another man or another black man at that. Now I can see her moving on with a white man, Arab, Mexican. But as far as brothers, oh, she's done. She's done with brothers. Ah, oh, you listen. She's done with brothers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Any man after this dealing with her, he's going to have to be the most patient, loving man. He's going to have some issues with her. Not, not her offense. No offense to her. Not her fault, but he going to have, he going to have a, his hands full with her. Whoever decides to be with that woman. So, um, pretty somber live stream. I'm gonna get out of here. Cause yeah, this is sad. This is somber. So, you know, rest in peace. I'm at Pisker. You know, I just wish he would have, you know, the social media shit the blowback is only temporary. It's not permanent. He would have came back, just lay low, just chill, focus on your work, man. Just grind it back out, you know? So, um, I don't know what to say. So thank y'all for coming through and, uh, yeah, I'll do it again tomorrow. Y'all have a good one. Peace.